everybody. Welcome to Cooking with the Kiddos. If this is your first time, an uh, extra special welcome if you've tuned in before. Hey, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us. My name's Jessica. This is Hero, two and a half years old, aka my sous chef. And our goal today is just to share a few tips for success in the kitchen when cooking with the little ones. Four quick rules before we really dive in. One, bring extra ingredients because these kids get hungry or they also get messy which brings us to two expect a mess it's okay um, that's it's all about getting their hands on the food and learning healthy cooking habits and so four fun all right so with that being said let's go ahead and jump into today's recipe which is do you know what we're making today did i tell you what did i tell you what we're making today Onigiri! Onigiri, oh, yes, aka rice balls. So, before we start any adventure in the kitchen, Hero always starts by washing his hands, and I do too. Let's take a peek. Okay, that was the hand washing, and you know what? Let's go ahead, let's talk about the ingredients. They're going to go rapid fire, but they're also all in the cooking instructions, and ingredients are also in the description. So, ingredients, go! Okay, there you have the ingredients. So, let's get started with the little bit of mixture we're going to put in the middle of our onigiri, aka rice ball. And if you're not familiar, a rice ball is just a little triangle of rice with some goodies in the middle, usually like some sort of a fish. So, hey Hiro, do you think you could do the tuna mix for me? Let's do some tuna mixing. Yep. You know, it might help if you hold the... Yeah, thank you. Great. Squeezing in about one teaspoon. We're kind of eyeballing it. So that's pretty easy, right? Our next part is going to be the rice, which is pre-prepared. Oh, is it hot? Oh, be careful. Yes, pre-prepared, fresh out of our rice cooker. Um, I would like to, I wanted to encourage you, go ahead, double check the ingredient or the directions for cooking your rice in advance because some recipes actually request that you don't wash the rice too much. Just due to, oh, we're gonna wait on that. Just due to the fact that it could um, enhance nutrient losses by washing the rice off too much. So take a peek at that. <laughs> there goes that mess. Uh, let's see, so take a peek at that. I would be doing you a disservice if I didn't say brown rice gives you the biggest nutrient bang for your buck. But we're cooking with white rice today because that's kind of traditionally how this is prepared. So we are gonna season our rice. It is super, super easy. Um, about two, cook, uh, two cups, by the way. Uh, which is gonna give us, we're gonna put about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. All right, would you, would you wanna be the salt man? You want to eat the salt? You want to eat it? Oh! It's yummy. It's yummy. You want to pour or do you want to dump? Yummy. You want to eat it? Okay. Tell you what, let's put just a little bit in there. Okay. Well, you're going to eyeball that. Definitely no more than a quarter of a teaspoon. Can you do me a favor and mix this? No! No? You want to mix it with your small spoon? Let's no, okay. Let's mix it together. It's gonna to be better when we have the onigiri, right? Or the rice ball. So the next part is gonna be super paramount, and that is the plastic wrap. And it helps you keep the rice from getting too sticky on your fingers. And yeah, because rice is sticky. All right. So I like to try and incorporate other lessons in with the kitchen so I thought hmm, this would be such a great opportunity to talk about shapes right so <laughs> if there's any rice left I'm thinking we could begin talking about our shapes by making circles because we're gonna make a circle of rice on this plastic wrap but first hey hero can you show me how to make a circle with your nose mm. oh cool what about a circle with your finger I hope you guys are trying, yeah, trying that at home 
Shearer, can you take five scoops and try and make a circle of rice on the plastic wrap? Maybe you want to use the big spoon and put it right here. Good. One. Just dump it. Okay. <laughs> Let's dump it. I think we don't need all the rice. Okay. We could do that. Okay. Perfect. Oh, all right. Well, today, <laughs> today's rice ball might be a little bit more gigantic than planned, and that's okay. We are going to make this into a little circle. Do you think this is a circle yet, Kiro? Should I keep going? Yes. And notice how I'm using the plastic wrap. Not my, Not my fingers, because it is going to be a hot mess if I use my fingers <laughs> on the right. So, we made a pretty decent circle. Kiro, come on up here. All right, so next we have Kiro's tuna mix. Can I see one finger? I want you to see one finger and just go poke. Poke, oh, make one little poke. 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 <laughs> All right, can you scoop some your tuna mix in here? Just put one little scoop right there. It's really gonna be only about, depending on how big your rice ball is gonna be, it's gonna be half a teaspoon. Oh, nice job. Can we put one more scoop in there? Half a teaspoon to a full teaspoon. You don't wanna load it too much, as tempted as you might be. Because actually, oh, oh hoo, hoo. look at you, hero. It won't mesh together so well. You'll find it falling apart. So I think this onigiri is still salvageable. We are going to, we made a circle, but what's the next shape we're going to try and make our onigiri into, hero? We made our onigiri into a triangle. Okay, make a triangle with your nose, with your fingers, and with the onigiri. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna take the onigiri, we're gonna set it aside, and we are gonna go for our last ingredient, which is seaweed. seaweed. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Let's make so a. Go. Okay, wait. Oh, what shape are we starting with? Square. Square. Yeah. Square. Yeah. 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 We're gonna take this one piece of seaweed and we are going to magically make it into four squares. So look, one long rectangle. You wanna try and rip it in half for me? We'll see how this goes. Oh, let's open, we gotta hold on. <laughs> okay. Well, Let's see, what shape do we have here? It's kind of a trapezoid type thing, but uh, it'll work, yeah. Our trap. goal is to have four nice squares, but hey, if they're not four nice squares, then that's okay. We are not dining at a gourmet restaurant here. So, the last step is to take our very messy triangle, and we're gonna put our square seaweed over it. Flip it around, yeah. And we have onigiri, here we go. Ooh, are you ready to eat it? What do we say before we eat? Itadakimasu. Excellent. So that is very quick, very messy onigiri. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and press subscribe below. Yeah! And otherwise, we hope to see you next time. Here, I'll come back and say bye everybody. Bye everybody. Ha, ha, ha.